come to arguably the most important video of all because we are going to be talking about effects. Now, effects are the lifeblood of macro police box operation. They permeate just about everything you do in the framework. They are used to keep track of various functions and they can be timed. So they can last till the end of your next turn, for example. Basically, what is an effect though? It is a state and or property change. Now you should know what properties are if you have been using map tool, but the states, of course, we've seen a few of them. We see this orange box with a black question mark here. That is the null state. And we see the invisible state for the two skeletons here, the gray ones with the white man on it. But if we double click on Vanny, we can actually look at his properties and we can see that they have all been set by the importer and there's his defenses and their values and that good stuff. Those all got increased by one when we ran that class feature in the last video, remember that? So look at that transcript, you can see what's happening there. All of these went up by one, or at least they should have. Let's actually test out that theory. So the life cycle of an effect is creation. You can create an effect. That's like actually putting a blueprint together about all the parameters and what their values are going to be. Next step, step two, is registration. That's when the effect goes live and an actual state is put on a token and a property is changed. It's actually active at that point and it will affect you with respect to being attacked or what have you, like those defenses going up by one those new values will be considered at that time at step two step three is removal that's when the operations of the state and the property are undone they are taken off and there's all kinds of complicated relationships that you can have with effects which we will see in this video uh, but we'll start off with a simple one just your garden variety effect that just affects Vanny doesn't have to do with anybody else let's say he wants to run that's actually in actions in combat so we're going to click that menu and we're going to select run and say okay and we're going to get some output in the chat here <laughs> do you hear that that's a sound effect so there's those are sprinkled throughout the framework there's like three dozen but we'll talk about those later so uh, yeah, the pitter-patter of the feet there, that means we are running. Now, we get some output here. Let's actually look at this little table right here and take it apart and see what's going on. It's very simple. It's just one row and the headings are up here. The target of this effect is the Vanny token. That's what's going to have the property and the state changed. Then we get a little heading here with respect to what's being done. The registration uh, running gen at mod has been registered. Let's take a look at the title. This is the title of the effect that actually gets written on the token. The first part here is the name running. And the second part here Gen at mod is the actual property that ha is being changed. And we can actually see that in the last cell right here. He is getting a minus five. That is known as the mod of the effect. Gen at mod is the property. We actually get a graphical output of what the state actually looks like. If we go back to the token over here, we see he's actually got that on him that picture, that state. And we also have this maroon one with the white starburst. And that is the CA state. When you run, you're going to grant combat advantage. So that's the state right there that we're talking about. So what happens now? We know that the state got imparted onto the token. Let's see if the gen at mod actually got modified. So we're that's normally zero. So we are going to scroll down until we see gen at mod. There it is. 
and lo and behold, yes, it is minus five. So let's say the start of his turn comes around and that state, that effect gets taken off. Now we can actually simulate that by clicking onto the MPV and doing what's called the object selection procedure. We'll find out more about that later and clicking on Vanny as well. So they both have the highlighted red and white checker box around them. And we can use this remove effect right here. Click and it's gonna ask, well, what do you want to affect and remove? Running gen at mod is what we want. So we'll say, okay, and watch this. It actually says it's been removed. Has the property been modified though? Has it been put back to zero? We can actually take a look at it and uh, go back to, oops, yeah. Gen at mod, zero. So it has been undone. Again, that will be done automatically for you during the game. We're just testing now, so we actually don't see that happening automatically. So those are effects. Now, actually, there is something more to talk about. How about one of the more complex ones where it's not ending on Vanny, it's ending on another guy, say this bony guy, Red. Now, what we can do is we can actually go to Global Toggles and say we want to do some registration, some effect registration. So we'll click that. This will get automatically activated when your DM starts initiative, starts the encounter. So we'll say OK there. So it's going to prompt us. So we can do the object selection procedure again. And we will select Bony Guy Red and we'll say we're able to blind him. So let's actually see how to do that manually. Let's say for the sake of argument that the importer forgot about this blinding effect from one of Vanny's spells and we need to do it manually uh, That's directed by the DM. So we are going to look at the selection panel and we're going to find the Vanny token, his groups of macros, and we're going to go to his power management and go create effect. Say OK, and we're going to go down to Blinded. Say OK, and we get a form pop up. And you can actually change the name if you want to, to the spell name. It's just, it's arbitrary. It's entirely up to you, as long as it's something unique, and that's not something that's already on him. And uh, range you don't have to worry about because we are selecting him, so it knows that we are going after him. And he's going to have his perception property changed and it's going to be changed to a mod of minus 10 because that is the standard for the blinded effect it's smart enough to know that it's going to change the mod so we actually don't even see that listed here so um that rest of this stuff looks okay we can talk about the rest of this stuff later and it's a duration to save and we'll say OK. And it's asking, register on Bony Guy Red. And we'll say OK there. And we get some more states. Again, we found out what the CA state is. There it is right there. And we see the blinded state. And we're actually given a message on the battle map as well as in the chat. And once again, we have the name, the property, which is perception, that's what's being affected. And there it is, there's the minus 10 to perception. And it's cast by Vanny, but it's not actually on Vanny, it's on Bony Guy Red. And the way we can tell that is we can actually double click on him and go down to his condition notes. And there it is, see this ad hoc blinded perception, which we see in the chat here, it's actually on him. And if he wants, like say he's under the control of an evil necromancer who gets that off him by giving him a saving throw, we can actually go to the health menu here and actually go effect saving throw. Say okay. And uh, oh, he's not going to do it. So too bad for him. And uh, we see some output in the chat for that as well. Now let's get a little fancier. Let's say that Vanny gives him an attack penalty 
but it's until the end of Vanny's next turn. Now watch this. We're going to OSP. Select both of them. Actually, for variety, let's do it on the other guy. Of course, you can have multiple effects on one token. Uh, but we will try this out. Go down to Vanny's power management and we'll create another effect. And we will make that an attack penalty. He casts a whammy on Bony Guy Blue there. And uh, ad hoc attack penalty. This time we do get a mod field and it is pre filled with us for two. You can change that to four or whatever the spell calls for. And the property is once again grayed out because we're not allowed to change uh, the property because it is an attack penalty with that state, which we see right there. And this time it does have some meaning. But for fun, let's say it is end, the end of his turn, the bony guy blues turn. So what we're going to do to represent that, um, saying it's, uh, uh, sorry, I meant to say uh, uh, Vanny's, the end of Vanny's turn, uh, but it's going to be registered, the, the attack penalty, on this bottom token here. So we're going to say duration end, and then we're going to say self. This is a special keyword for the link parameter of the effect. What this means is Vanny is registering it to himself, but the actual effect takes place on that token. So let's see what this looks like. We'll say OK. Register on Bony Guy Blue. Yep. And we get some output. And we see Vanny's turn end here as the duration. It tells us that in the chat, which is helpful. Now let's look at some condition notes. We will go here. And the condition, by the way, you can also run the status macro to see this, but it's just, um, it's just a little easier if you actually go through the, um, the actual properties themselves. It's a little quicker rather than running through the menu. And we don't see that anywhere. Uh, condition notes is blank. Now, why is that? Because remember the blinded from the last token? We actually saw something in here, but it's not there. But we know he's taking the attack penalty. There's his gen at mod. It's minus two. So he's got minus two to attack. So where is this effect? Well, the effect actually is owned by the effect owner is Vanny. Why? Because it's ending on his turn. See up here, it says Vanny's turn end. So if we double click here and we go to condition notes, remember all the, the scrolling up and down, we had trouble finding it, but here it is. Ad hoc attack penalty, bony guy blue. So that's how we know. You don't, you don't have to have to know all this stuff. This is just to get it um, straight on what an effect owner is as opposed to an effect victim, if you want to call it that. So that's how it works. And the actual turn beginning and ending mechanisms will take care of the ending and the life cycle of the effects. So those are effects. Hope you enjoyed that, found it informative. Watch this video again. And again, until you understand effects cold, very, very important because they are used all the time for your spells and your various activities in playing in the frame framework. So hope you found that informative. Thanks for watching.